Welcome back guys. This is Vishu from Savage Camp and in this video we are going to look at this module called Iter Tools and it has some useful functions. Um, I only had to use it once or twice but it's pretty good to know because you might encounter times when you will have to use this. So we will start with permutations and let's create a list like this and if I do print a this is our list so actually let me put a permutation of a and let's see what we get so one thing to remember is this is a module for iter tools so your data type should always be something that you can go over like a list a set a tuple but if I do it for uh, iter tools you will see that it gives back an object so here we have to pass it into a list and if I do that now and print out the answer what you will see is a combination of the elements with each other. So what permutation does is it will show you 1, 2, 3 which is our list but after that it would change the order it would change the order for 3 and 2 so 1 is still the same and we are changing two, 2 and 3, we are changing it to 3 and 2. Then comes the second number which is 2. We go with 1 and 3, then we go with 3 and 1. And then we come to the third number, we go with 1 and 2 and 2 and 1. So if I add one more element over here, it is just going to make more iterations of each one of these. And an easier way to understand this is just two elements which will give you 1, 2 and 2, 1. So it is basically trying to find out every possible combination of those elements. Now when I talk about combination, this is also one of the functions that this iter tool module and we will again create another list. Let's do 1, 2, 3, 4 and combination is going to be combinations of a and then we also have to put in an variable r which is for which is like an integer and you will see what it means when i do like one and print list of comb actually we should also do this as list of answer So if I run this now, you will see that it only says 1, 2, 3, 4 because we have 1. So what it is doing is printing the list one number of time. Now if I do this 2, it will make it much more clearer. What this is doing is 1, 2, 1, 3 and 1, 4. Now we have 1, 4. So we are not going to see 1, 4 again in this list. Similarly the next number is 2 so it is not going to go to 1 because we already have 1 2 so it is not going to take the 2 1 it is going forward so 1 2 1 3 and 1 4 2 3 and 2 4 and then we have 3 4 that is the end of it all it is doing is only taking the next number with it if i do 3 you will see 1 2 3 then you will see 1 2 4 and 2 3 4 that is it because there are no three numbers after 3 to give that thing and if I do a 4 it will just print out the list because that is all that is left when we do 4 and if you want to understand this better I can add 5 6 and you will see that each number just goes over once we are not going over it multiple times so that is what combination does this permutation is going to print it as many possible combinations are there this combination is only going to print the one possible combination that is possible over there uh, provided you give the number over here and the last one that we will look at is accumulate and accumulate we already have a so all i'm going to do is answer is equal to Let's do ACC is equal to accumulate of A and print list of accumulate and we will see what it does. So 
Once you run this, you see 1, 3 and 6. But our list is 1, 2, 3. How did it find 1, 3 and 6? Well, you have to understand how it works. We have the number 1 and then we have 1 plus 2 which is 3 and then the sum of 1 plus 2 is 3 then it is going to add 3 plus 3 which is 6 so we have the last number so it is accumulating the sum of every number that it is seeing so if I do a 4 you will see this change to 1 3 6 and 10 so 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 3 is going to be 6 and then 6 plus 4 is going to be 10 let's add one more number over here and you will see 1 3 6 10 so this uh, these four numbers we already know it means 10 so it is accumulating the 5 with the 10 and it is giving us 15 now we have 15 if I add 6 it's going to give me 21 so that is what accumulate does I personally had to use like permutation once when I was trying to find something but unless you are dealing with like proper mathematical problems or stuff like that I don't think you would be using this a lot but this is a good function to know because these things are ready made and you don't have to write a nested for loop or a list comprehension to get this so that is it for this video guys and I will see you guys in the next one